Hello there, Dret Magua here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for you guys today. And today we're going Omaiwu Mu Shindaru on the bitches, as we are going to showcase a deck built around the one and only Dragon Ambush. And I say one and only because everybody and their mother says this card sucks and nobody's playing it, and I was really fixated on making a proper list around it. I actually started, uh, you know, working on the concept in Jeremy's birthday stream, but I realized that this deck was going to take me a while to build, and I've been spending quite a bit of time perfecting it little by little, and, and, and trying to figure out exactly what it is that I want to do with this deck and what the best approach towards it is. And I'm glad that I spent my time because I've I've got one of the coolest decks I've built in a while and I'm really, really excited about sharing this one because, you know, I've been having uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun brewing, right? But there's always some decks that I, I are a little bit, you know, deep down my favorites, right? And this one is definitely gonna be up there. At least from the expansion so far, this is the one that I've had the most fun with. So let, let's dive down deep into it and uh, talk about what it is we're doing here with, as you guys can see, Ionia Shadow Isles based Ephemerals. This bridging combination and Ephemerals is nothing new under the sun, but it's never been something ultimately viable, right? I've done several iterations of this region combination with Ephemerals in the past, but I felt like it ultimately became uh, overshadowed by the likes of Demacia Shadow Isles with Grand Plaza. The thing is, I believe there are two very strong additions that really were designed to enhance this region combination and, and this sort of tactic. And uh, they do so more than people think. The first card, of course, is the Stage Hand. We've seen this card in aggro decks because it turns out it's pretty damn good in those decks as well. In Jin, Annie, aggro, uh, this, even though it's an ephemeral, still is essentially a two mana arachnoid sentry with a bigger body, right? Yeah, it's going down at the end of the turn, but a lot of times you don't really care about that. You care about the damage that you're pushing through, right? Well, this card also does wonders for this archetype, and I'm gonna explain that in a bit. But the first card that I wanna talk about and essentially what was the big inspiration is this one right here. Five mana, slow speed spell, Dragon Ambush. Start a free attack with two Dragonlings. The reason why people say this card sucks is because on paper, on its own, it does. It's very expensive for what it's doing. You're paying five mana, right, at slow speed to spawn two two ones with Ephemeral and, and uh, Lifesteal attacking, right? In a vacuum, this card is extremely expensive and not really doing much at all because you can't control those attacks, you can't challenge anything with the Dragonlings, so a lot of times your opponent can just chump them and doesn't, yeah, you pay five mana to heal, to heal four and deal four damage and your opponent controls where that goes, right? That's not very good. But with proper synergy and a lot of synergy, emphasis on the word synergy, this card can actually turn into a really scary finisher. And the best way to build around this card is to go all in on the Shark Chariot strategy. We are running a full set of Shark Chariot and a full set of Fading Memories. Fading Memories is the main objective of Fading Memories in this deck is to copy Shark Chariots. So that we have, you know, arguably like we want to aim for three Shark Chariots every game. Sometimes we're not going to draw a Shark Chariot, so there's other plays we can go for. This card also functions extremely well with our Stage Hand that we can copy multiple times in a specific round and just develop a 4-4 or potentially 5-5 with a Soul Shepherd right here that stuns something, duplicate it, stun th something again, and ultimately we have a deck that has these big spikes in attacks. And what Dragon Ambush provides that this region combination never had before is something to do on the turns in which we do not have the attack token, right? Because on those turns, we're gonna be wanting to play Dragon Ambush Hopefully, or you know, if it can be with field musicians, we're playing field musicians as a three of because field musicians with one shark chariot, right, on the graveyard pool. And uh, as we play Dragon Ambush, we will be effectively be playing Dragon Ambush for just two mana because we will be refilling our mana and we'll be drawing a card. Field Musicians works really well in this deck because alongside stuff like Maokai and Zed and the full set of Sapling Toss that we have and the Shark Chariots, we can very easily trigger this uh, requirement and effectively draw an extra card every turn while refilling our spell mana, so in a way pseudo ramping. This four drop does a lot for what we're doing and really enables us to not run out of gas while we keep launching ghosts at the opponent. 
Also, shoutouts to those of you who know who, what this game is. Awesome game. <laughs> you get points if you if you have played Ghost Trick on the... Was it on the Nintendo DS? I think so. We got the Neverglade Collector as well to benefit from all these ephemeral attacks and drain our opponent's life points while we heal up ourselves, helping us out. Alongside Dragon Ambush, these can help us come back against aggressive matchups as well. And yes, I've, I've managed to beat Jin Annie with this kind of list. We have a couple of copies of the Knife for Disruption, Concussive Palm to give us a little bit of time against certain attacks. And uh, yeah, just buy us time in, a, in our defensive turns. Ultimately, our, our biggest weakness as an ephemeral deck is defense, right? We try to use offense as defense, but not that doesn't work all the time, right? So having access to this card right here can uh, help out a lot in just stopping an attack while also summoning a unit that uh, uh, can push towards field munitions you know, requirement to draw a card. As then we have a couple of copies of Oblivious Islander to reduce the cost of some of our ephemeral units or potentially set up a powerful ephemeral summon with a Soul Shepherd on the board into a Death Mark. This is another cool card that we get to play here. Death Mark with Stagehand is really neat because Stagehand as a 4-4 body, because the problem in the past with Death Mark on other uh, ephemeral targets, like maybe the Sapling or the Shark Chariot, is that they have one health. So without Soul Shepherd on the board, they are, it's very easy to counter, which forces you to run stuff like Dark Water Scourge, which doesn't really quite do enough because it just it has lifesteal, but besides that, it, it, it's a very pretty... Most of the time is a dead card without some proper support on the, on the side or the attack token for you, but the stage hand gives us an upon entry effect, which is what an ephemeral unit like this needed, right? Well, yes, this leads to it being played in other more degenerate aggressive decks. It really does provide this sort of archetype with some strength, some very much needed muscle to do what we want to do. And because it has four health, the combination with Death Mark is not only very cheap, but very reliable as well, allowing us to destroy just huge units. No matter how big they are, we can Death Mark them away and one of the slickest ways to remove a unit in this game, in my opinion. And then, of course, we have a full set of Hecarim and a one-off of Harrowing for that game, which just drags out way too much, and we need a little bit of extra push as uh, we just Harrowing and try to kill them right then and there. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the deck list right there. Put a lot of work into this, uh, more so than, than most other decks, because this is you know, kind of like my baby in a way, right? Like, uh, others are just, like, you know, enhancing old archetypes, and, uh, you know, I've, I've had a blast with them, but this one is pretty special and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the deck and the games as much as i enjoyed playing them honestly because this is just the tits like i'm, I'm not gonna get tired of this deck for a while and uh really really excited to showcase the true potential of dragon ambush i love cards like this that seem really weak initially but with the right synergy you know not implying this deck is gonna be tier one right like it's very it's matchup dependent and and, and such but it is just my kind of jam, and I absolutely loved playing this today. So that's all I gotta say. Have a solo day. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. Subscribe. It's free. Free, it's good. Sub promotion over. Enjoy the games. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, let's do this. Okay, so for this kind of matchup, we definitely want a hard mulligan for the Shark Chariot. Beautiful. It's a more reactive matchup. Normally, I, I'd keep the, uh, wait. So as I was saying, um, normally I'd, I'd keep the, uh, the Faded Memories because it can, it can lead into more Shark Chariots, but we gotta actually find Shark Chariot first. Instead of dropping you, which can be easily removed, we're gonna play you. If they wanna use removal on this, that's fine. Alright. Nice. Alright, let's see if they want to attack until 2 3. It's an awesome day for progress. Kicks, huh? Please still not. Ancestors await. Yeah, trigger. I'm gonna trade into that. Um, yeah, that's actually just straight. That's fine.
Ashley, get you that file. Come on, Dippers. It's playtime. A tune of courage for our companions. We'll practice this yet. I'm gonna pass here. Okay. I'm gonna attack like this because this is gonna warrant an answer out of them. not really a huge payoff right now like I, I definitely but I, I gotta be careful and not the aisles will bloom again another clue do this so by spawning with this we we get to uh we get triggered that and now i really want to protect my my neverglade collector here sure is dark eh okay That actually solves my problem that I was having because I was lacking proper space. But I can death mark this as real now. That I can play this and copy you. Now I can do this. If they want to play Tabalk this round, then they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna know pain. Oh boy. Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. The dragon lives. Let's go with this attack with the sharks now. And this ambush in the back, ho ho! They definitely got, like this. Never good collectors applying a lot of pressure, so they got to deal with it somehow. What's the motive? It doesn't add up. 
It's a lot of damage. They have to kill this if they don't want to block with Annie. What's the motive? That was a very greedy play with the Station Archivist, but I guess maybe they were searching for something, but because their options here are not that great. Okay, so if they kill this... See, here's the thing. They kill this, and that's fine. Because my question is, what do you do? Because they could have another another disintegrate. But what do you what do you do when I, I drag an ambush? Like you're down to you you're down to four. You can potentially. This next play is everything though. I'm gonna let it happen. The problem is uh, a house spider. A house spider is the biggest issue. You're not ready! For the ambush! <laughs> I forgot to cheat the evils again! Let's go! Let's go! Or death. Okay, another round of emotes. I keep forgetting. These are the ones for... Aren't these the ones for yesterday's? No, no, no. Yesterday's was the reputation. And these are the ones for the timelines video. Okay. So, no Hecarim, no Maokai. No Zed emote either. But because we are playing Zed, we'll, we'll, we'll have his, his long lost brother, GG. We need some, some creepy Shadow Owl stuff. We'll get some popcorn. We're playing Ionia. I, I always associate this creature with Ionia. I don't know why. So it's gonna be like our... I, I definitely like the Yas one here too. I mean, this really exemplifies what I'm feeling when I when I get the the you know the the shark chariot synergies going off. So I think we're gonna go with this. This will do. For now. All right, round two. Scary super creep. But they're not playing the Katarina version that I've been seeing. I quite like that. I like that quite more. Okay, we got the fading memories and Shark Chariot. What do we need deny? I mean, there are certain tools for deny here, but I don't think we need it right now. I'm gonna keep the Dragon Ambush though, because um, they're gonna lead off with the Shark Chariot. Value. They, they always trade the spider link into it. That just happened last game, right? Like I, I they, they house spider turn two, and then they dove it right into it. We don't mind about. We can take a little bit of damage here. Come, the journey ahead is long. You know this deck likes to play ravenous flock, so we are not trading into any of that. And now, thanks to this old shepherd, Vile Feast is no longer a an option for this. Uh, this is also very tempting, just to field musicians here. But I think I can I can go with that setup a little bit later. We can we can definitely do this now. If they somehow like try to answer this, like if they try to like kill this. That's pretty funny. What don't I want to block? I don't want this to block. If we seek forgiveness, we must commit all. Cause this is a lot of damage. Our purpose calls to us. We cannot turn away. I know what I must do. We have to use offense as our defense here. Alright. 
show enough courage for our companions. Now we play we play field musician because field musician will effectively enable a two mana dragon ambush, while also drawing us a card. And we don't mind if we deal a little bit of damage here. We have all the tools. We're gonna go for this. Six, eight, ten. That's a heavy progression for Viego, but we we gotta we gotta pull the trigger. Now, now what we earned with this is the ability to to buy a little bit of time. I will find her. Spit her out from the darkness. This just isn't powerful enough here. Face me. If you do not have a part to play, take one. Embrace your fate as I have mine. Fortunately, this Viego, uh, Okay, that's very interesting actually because if they if they it will all be over That's a really good dot, brother. I need them to be under Vengeance range. Yeah, 
melodies to rouse hearts and steady hands. Okay. Well, now we go in. I go willingly. There's no play for this death mark here. Not with the way they blocked. Triple Alps. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, Sapley does amazing. Sapley does is actually amazing. Holy shit. Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, dude! Holy shit! More Viego. Why? Why does it have to be Viego, man? Viego's so rough. Okay, I'm gonna keep this though. We got the shark cherry, we got a sapling toss to apply some pressure as well. Alright, lead off with that. We're gonna be playing Soul Shepherd on two, and then we're gonna be going Shark Cherry at the. I think we're gonna be. Ooh. Alright, we're in. Dragon Ambush. We gotta draw that dragon ambush. Do I need this sapling toss yet? I don't think I need it just yet, to be honest. I think I think we can use it later. It's not imperative for it to go now. We don't need to reveal fading memories because we still have another shark. As long as we have a shark here in hand, we don't need to use this. Uh oh. We got it first. All right, we get a trade. Force relics. I mean, they always have that waking sands as a problem. But we may, we may just. Work. I think I can, I can have a better use of the stage hand, though. To be honest, I think this round I just need to like double. Oh, they, they, they go for that trade. That's perfect for us. Or are they just going for the attack? Are they ignoring that? Are you serious? Wait, what? Hello? I mean, they're gonna be. We, we definitely need to start making use of our. What's our plan next round? We can play we can play you, that's our plan, yeah. We're gonna shark chariot here. Because my plan is to thanks to sapling toss, this is why we, we did really good in preserving sapling toss, because now what I can do We'll get our licks in Problem is, I mean, we should probably just go for the open attack here. Like, Neverglade Collector is a little bit greedy because the issue is, is is that if they have, it's really powerful hit here because if they have any sort of ping whatsoever, 
They stop us on our track, so it's not worth it. And if they have a withering will, so be it. Yeah, but they, they had a vile feast, see? Losing, losing our Soul Shepherd there is most certainly an issue. Okay, so Viego's gonna come in. I'll take a dead ordinary love. The whole world will know my anguish. I'll play Neverglade. That's a good draw. Gotta find a gift for an action, right, Arda? The dark business. Got a right of negation, all right. We're gonna set a Malka here because if they do have a vengeance. One shot pursued by many others. <sighs> That's annoying. If I play this and I stun you, you develop a blocker there. I still have two. I have two chair. No, no, I have. I played one shark chair here, then I played another one. Then I, play I played three. So if I stun you. I have three attackers here, which puts them really low. It allows me to, 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 to try to set up a lethal with that. If I play you, however, like he's gonna play that Waking Sands. Yeah, it has to be like this. If we seek forgiveness, we must commit all. Whoa. Takes away a lot from their potential open attack here. I will make this right. Obey your king. Nice, nice. They respect it too much. They respect it. We really needed them to respect it there. Resetting that Diego is huge. I mean, I mean, if they didn't, we had the the threat of Neverglade Collector, so it's not like it was unfounded. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That's our cue. That is our cue, ladies and gentlemen. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. The Shadow Isles! I can't do that voice. Punk Rock Hacker, ladies and gentlemen! Gonna set us up for the open attack of a lifetime. If they develop Waking Sands here, we will block into it. Because what we're not gonna what we're not about to do is is die to an atrocity. That's the only thing we gotta prevent at this point. <laughs> I got him, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Viego down back to back, baby! And Hacker's still bugged. Deep. All right. Definitely another matchup in which we need the Shark Chariots. Uh, full Mulligan. I mean, I'd like to keep the fading memories just in case we draw into them. Just gotta see, gotta see a shark, man. For especially for this matchup, you know, where they're slower. Turn one happy? No turn one happy. Okay. Another fading memories. Just one shark. Come. The journey ahead is long. Heart of the sharks. Heart of the sharks. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do not fear death. We do have some nice combos here, though, with death mark. Blood and guts. Golden glory. Yeah, that's annoying. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my 
my god, guys. Oh my god. If you do not have a part to play. Oh my god. We stunned this. So much bigger than us both. Oh. Oh. I refuse to win. Goodbye, Maokai. Oh, man. Now we just need a shark! I could use that to dive that into that, but what's the point? I kind of want to set up the field musicians here. We got, a, we got a nice setup here, but... I mean, we could do this and stun. Yeah, I see no reason not to do this, honestly. If we seek forgiveness, we must commit all. Like, we have another death mark here. Like, we're gonna find value. Like, this is the line of play. This is the line of play. Our purpose calls to us. We cannot turn away. Fresh is worth me twice as much. Hey, come on. This is just too good. If you do not have a part to play, take one. All right, look at that. We attack and then we set up the death mark, so we, we progress Hecarim's level up more. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lot of damage, ladies and gentlemen. That's the route we're taking. And now, now, now you're here! Really? Okay. So we're gonna dive that into that, because we could we could go for the dragon ambush, but because that the dragon ambush does force them to trade into that. Dragon ambush is makes things quite uh, tricky actually, because they have to block both, and it it preserves this, which makes me not go down to vile feast, which is really important. Because <laughs> then we have that harrowing anyways. Okay, this is tricky. So otherwise, what happens? This trades into this. I play you, and I play the field musicians. Nah, I think I think this line of play is still better. Like I, well, withering whale is a problem, but I'm gonna go with this route. Whoa! Holy shit! Great. We're gonna take this route. What we do is so much bigger than us both. Stun first. Yeah, th th this game is all stagehand. The rot must be cut away. I will make this right. I have to attack first like this. To force them to block with Maokai before they can set up a, a, a sapling blocker. And then we have the dragon ambush in the back. The undergrowth here, exactly. We clear those though. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Maokai is out of the picture, so no, no blocker. And now. Oh my Wumu. Dragon Abunshiro! Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Get that shark in there. Look at that, baby, let's go! Four in a row! Dude, this video is sick! <laughs> Fuck yeah.